This video illustrates what it looks like when you use comparison to solve a system of two equations with two unknowns when you have coinciding lines. When I see the question, I don't know yet that I have coinciding lines. I have to be able to figure that out by looking at the algebra. So the first thing I'm going to do when given this system of two equations is I'm going to set up my comparison, which involves isolating the same variable in both equations. I'll start with the blue equation on top. And I will isolate the y simply by dividing the entire equation by 4. y is equal to 2x minus 8, all divided by 4. Isolating the y in the red equation involves first moving the negative x and the 4 to the other side of the equals, and then dividing the entire equation by 2. I end up with y equals x minus 4, all divided by 2. I can set up my comparison now and cross multiply. 2x minus 8 over 4 is equal to x minus 4 over 2, cross multiplies to give me 4 times the bracket x minus 4 equals 2x minus 8. Multiply, I get 4x minus 16 is equal to 4x minus 16, and I'm starting to see a pattern emerging here that indicates something special is going on. But I will continue with my algebra, get the x terms together on one side of the equals, and get the constant terms together on the other side. I end up with 4x minus 4x is equal to negative 16 plus 16. And this simplifies to 0 equals 0. When I get the statement 0 equals 0, it's not telling me what my x-coordinate is or what my y-coordinate is, because it can't. Because these are coinciding lines. The statement 0 equals 0 is my hint that I have coinciding lines, so if asked for the type of lines, I will say coinciding lines. And because coinciding lines share all of their points in common, and lines extend to infinity in either direction, the answer to the system of these two equations is an infinite number of solutions. They hold all of their points in common, so there are, there are an infinite number of correct answers to this system of two equations. This is what comparison looks like when you are dealing with coinciding lines.